Picture this, a time when the silver screen was only beginning to fathom the boundless depths of imagination. It was 1953, a year that introduced us to a world where science fiction mingled with a touch of terror, and the concept of a movie monster took a thrilling new form. The name echoing in the corridors of cinematic history. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Do you recall that very first encounter with the film? Perhaps you were nestled in a cozy theater, surrounded by a mix of anticipation and curiosity. The flickering light of the projector painted scenes of a world teetering on the brink of chaos, and a prehistoric behemoth awakening from its slumber beneath the icy layers of time. It's those unforgettable moments that make us pause, even now, and reflect on the power of storytelling to transport us to realms unknown. Maybe your memory lingers on the spine-tingling roars of the titular beast, a creature so enormous and menacing that it seemed to transcend the screen itself. Or perhaps it's the exhilaration of watching the clash between science and the supernatural, a battle that held the fate of humanity in its balance. Whatever it may be, the beast from 20,000 fathoms left an indelible mark on the tapestry of cinematic experiences. Now, let's dive a bit deeper. As we pull back the curtain, Yowl uncover some fascinating and unexpected facts about this iconic movie. From its pioneering special effects to the influence it had on an entire genre, the story behind the story is as riveting as the film itself. So, without further ado, let's journey into the annals of film history and unearth the hidden gems that make this movie a true classic. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of the beast from 20,000 fathoms that you might not have encountered before. From that initial moment of awe to the layers of intrigue that unfold with every passing scene, this movie has left an enduring legacy. So, as we explore the lesser-known facets of this cinematic gem, remember that there's always more to discover beneath the surface of even the most familiar tales. The 1953 film The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms marks a significant milestone in the realm of science fiction cinema. Emerging from the creative minds of Ray Bradbury and Ray Harryhausen, this iconic movie introduces a chilling narrative that revolves around the awakening of a prehistoric creature due to nuclear testing in the Arctic. As the ancient beast embarks on a destructive rampage, it becomes a symbolic representation of the fears and consequences associated with atomic experimentation during that era. At the heart of the film is Dr. Tom Nesbitt, portrayed by Paul Hubschmidt, who teams up with a paleontologist and military personnel to devise a plan to halt the creature's rampage. The film's unique style is characterized by its groundbreaking stop-motion animation, a hallmark of Ray Harryhausen's work which brings the titular beast to life in a visually striking manner. The meticulous craftsmanship of Harry Hassan's animation lent the film an enduring charm, giving audiences an awe-inspiring spectacle that helped shape the future of creature features. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms set a precedent for the giant monster genre, influencing subsequent films and paving the way for cinematic classics like Godzilla. Its impact on popular culture is palpable, as it not only solidified the concept of colossal creatures wreaking havoc, but also highlighted the broader implications of scientific exploration and its potential dangers. This film served as a cautionary tale, echoing society's concerns about the consequences of unchecked technological progress and the unpredictability of the natural world. In summary, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms remains a seminal work that combined visionary storytelling with groundbreaking visual effects, leaving an indelible mark on the sci-fi and monster movie genres. Its themes of scientific curiosity, unintended consequences, and humanity's vulnerability in the face of its own creations continue to resonate, ensuring its lasting impact on the cultural landscape. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, the iconic 1953 creature feature that sent shivers down spines, left an indelible mark on cinematic history with its groundbreaking narrative and captivating special effects. While the film's colossal creature wreaking havoc upon cities enthralled audiences, it was the audacious inclusion of a roller coaster that truly set hearts racing. In a climactic scene near the movie's finale, a fearsome prehistoric creature emerges from the depths, making a beeline for a roller coaster perilously positioned in its path. This heart-stopping sequence was brought to life using the Cyclone Racer, an actual amusement park attraction located in the Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. As the menacing beast advances, the roller coaster's fiery fate seemed sealed, drawing viewers to the edge of their seats. 
However, what the audience might not have realized was that the roller coaster's fiery demise was not confined to the realm of special effects. A meticulously crafted miniature replica of the Cyclone Racer was meticulously constructed solely to meet its fiery end, adding a touch of realism to the cataclysmic scene. This melding of practical effects and gripping storytelling cemented the film's status as a trailblazer in the genre. What's more, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms was not only a pioneer in riveting visual storytelling, but it also bore witness to the cinematic marriage of imagination and reality. During a spellbinding sequence featuring an octopus engaged in a fierce battle with a shark, sharp-eyed viewers could discern a peculiar detail. Some of the octopus tentacles sported the unmistakable appearance of adhering to glass, a telltale sign that portions of the footage were filmed within an aquarium setting. This captivating blend of actual marine life and cinematic illusion spoke to the film's resourcefulness in constructing compelling visuals. Yet, the film's influence extended beyond its enthralling visuals and daring feats of imagination. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms holds the distinction of being the first cinematic venture to showcase a colossal creature awoken or mutated by the ominous force of an atomic bomb. This thematic exploration, inspired by the resurgence of interest in the genre following the 1952 re-release of King Kong, added depth to the film's narrative and subtly underscored contemporary anxieties about the unbridled power of nuclear technology. In the annals of cinema, the beast from 20,000 Fathoms remains a titan, a testament to the art of storytelling, innovation, and the power of movie magic. With its unforgettable roller coaster finale, underwater clashes, and thought-provoking themes, the cinematic masterpiece carved a lasting legacy, forever etching its name into the hallowed halls of film history. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a monster's journey from script to screen in the annals of classic cinema, 1,953 seconds The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms stands as a monstrous icon garnering attention not only for its fearsome creature, but also for the intriguing tale of its inception. This film roared into theaters, leaving an indelible mark on the sci-fi genre. One of the most fascinating chapters in the movie's history involves the renowned sci-fi author Ray Bradbury. During a visit to the set, Bradbury's fate became entwined with the film's script. Titled Monster from the Sea at the time, the script found its way into Bradbury's hands. Upon reading it, he experienced a curious sense of deja vu. A particular scene featuring the monster's rampage toppling a lighthouse bore an uncanny resemblance to Bradbury's own work published in the Saturday Evening Post years earlier. His story, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a tale of a dinosaur wrecking havoc on a lighthouse. Kismet seemed to intertwine the two narratives. Soon after, a telegram crackled to life, offering Bradbury $2,000 for the film rights to his story. A deal struck, and the movie's title underwent a transformation, adopting Bradbury's moniker. A twist of fate had birthed the film's new identity. Interestingly, Bradbury's story itself later underwent a title transformation, becoming the fond horn. The movie's allure wasn't confined to its narrative evolution. The cast brought charisma, but a curious case arose with Vera Miles and Paul Picerny. These two luminaries appeared in the film's trailer, a tantalizing glimpse that stirred expectations. However, as the reels unfurled on the big screen, their presence mysteriously dissolved. A cinematic sleight of hand, leaving audiences to wonder about the road not taken within the film's celluloid frames. Box office figures cemented the movie's legacy. With a budget to match its ambition, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms amassed impressive earnings, making it one of 1,953 seconds highest grossing films, its colossal success matching the scale of its titular creature. From script revisions to serendipitous titles, from on-screen riddles to box office triumph, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms continues to beckon audiences into its primordial embrace. A tale born of curiosity, nurtured by collaboration, and unleashed through the magic of cinema. 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 The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, the iconic 1953 science fiction film, brings to light an intriguing facet of Hollywood history that often escapes the spotlight. Nestled within its frames lies a duo of legendary dress extras, the elderly couple gracefully adorning the opera sequence. While the protagonists Tom and Lee claim our attention, the unassuming couple in the background carries a cinematic legacy that's second to none. 
Franklin, Farnham, and Bess Flowers, the uncelebrated stars of this particular scene, amassed an astonishing tally of appearances in both movies and TV. Farnham, a name etched in the annals of Hollywood, graced the screen over 700 times. Yet, it's Flowers who reigns supreme as the queen of the extras, boasting a staggering 1,000 appearances. More than mere background fillers, they became favorites of renowned directors, their familiarity an indispensable brushstroke in the cinema's grand canvas. In a cinematic symphony spanning genres and eras, their presence resonates remarkably within the realm of 1,001 movies you must see before you die. Bess Flowers emerges triumphant, having weaved her way into the tapestry of this distinguished list with a record-breaking 33 appearances, unmatched by any counterpart. Together, they forged an on-screen companionship that spanned 136 movies, albeit not always in shared scenes. While the stars of The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms battled a prehistoric menace, the enduring appeal of Farnham and Flowers remained steadfast, reminding us that even in the shadows, a legacy can shine bright. These unsung heroes, often dismissed as mere extras, infused a touch of authenticity and continuity that shaped the magic of movie-making itself. From towering dinosaurs to the unassuming figures in the backdrop, the movie's essence is richer for their presence. So the next time the silver screen captivates your gaze, spare a thought for the dress extras like Farnham and Flowers, whose subtle artistry elevated each frame they graced. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms is more than a creature feature. It's a testament to the unsung contributors who lent its soul, enriching the cinematic tapestry with their unassuming dedication. And thus, their legacy endures, a quiet reminder that sometimes, the true stars hide beyond the spotlight. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of the beast from 20,000 fathoms, it's as though we've navigated through the veils of time itself, bridging the gap between our reality and the fantastical realm of cinematic wonder. Just as the colossal creature awakened from its slumber, so too have our own memories and emotions been stirred by this timeless masterpiece. As you reflect on the echoing roars and the heart-pounding anticipation that this 1953 gem has gifted us, it's an invitation to delve into the corridors of your own experiences. Did you find yourself on the edge of your seat as the daring protagonists faced the unstoppable force of nature? Perhaps it's the enchanting allure of vintage special effects that left an indelible mark on your imagination. Or maybe, just maybe, there's a personal connection that intertwines with this classic tale of man versus beast, reminding you that even in the face of the extraordinary, there's something innately human that resonates within us. What's your fondest memory of watching this masterpiece? Was it a cozy family movie night that turned into an unexpected adventure? Or maybe a solo expedition into the world of science fiction that sparked a lifelong passion. Your thoughts, your memories, they are the threads that weave this cinematic tapestry into the fabric of your own story. As the credits roll and the echoes of the past fade into the present, take a moment to embrace the nostalgia, the thrill, and the thought-provoking themes that the beast from 20,000 Fathoms has brought into your life. Let its legacy become a part of your own narrative, a story to be shared and cherished. Your unique perspective adds another layer to this cinematic journey, one that enriches the collective experience of all who've been touched by this celluloid marvel. Thank you for embarking on this voyage through time and imagination. Your time and interest in exploring the depths of this film's impact are truly appreciated. So, let the reminiscing begin, the anecdotes flow, and the memories resurface. Let's celebrate the power of storytelling and its ability to transcend generations. Here's to you and your connection to the beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a connection that's as awe-inspiring as the beast itself.